Hello YouTube world, my name is AJ and I'm back. Okay, so today I'm not gonna do a review regarding an e-juice. So, uh, ayoko magawa ng mga review muna for e-juices kasi sa dami ng e-juice na lumalabas ngayon, uh, more of those e-juices are, you know, just for money. I know it's business, but what I'm trying to say is, uh, nawawala yung, yung, uh, tinitipid, you know, tinitipid nila yung flavor, so ang nangyayari, ang pangit ng lasa ng mga e-juices ngayon. Kaya ayoko ang gumawa ng mga, uh, ng review tungkol sa mga e-juices, okay? Pero, um, for example, kasi, I went to a vape shop, and then, I tried some testers, okay, to check the flavor of those e-juice that I, I'm thinking to, um, you know, but for myself, because tulad nga yun, Chris, uh, Christmas Eve, so apparently a, uh, most of the vape shops are closed. So in advance, bumili na ako para para hindi ako para may stock ako sa sa loob ng bahay. Okay. So what happened is sa tester ang sarap niya, pero pagdating pag binili mo na yung e juice sobrang pangit ng lasa. As in, ang layo-layo. That's why, uh, ngayon, yung mga e-juices na lumalabas ngayon, talagang magko-complain ka. Pero, may ibang e-juices naman na masarap at talaga yung lasa is andong pa rin. Kung ano yung sinabi nilang flavor, yun pa rin. Pero, mostly talaga, wala na. Parang, basta makabenta lang. That's why I don't wanna do any review regarding e-juices. Okay? Pero, what I'm about to do today is kind of different. Okay, instead of review, I'm going to help uh, people, uh, vapors, who is using a sub-ohm tank. Yes, you heard me right, sub-ohm tank. So, just like my cousin earlier, uh, he had a problem with his automizer. So, actually, I already have a video, uh, but... I did another video today because uh, I'm trying to look for that same video but I can't I don't know what happened but I know that I saved that video pero wala siya so that's why I have to do another video so again this is regarding subong tank so for those people uh, we all know kasi na ang vape ang vaping ngayon is uh, pagdating sa mga atomizer, mods, or you know, ganong kabilis yung production, ganong kabilis maluma kasi ganong kabilis or ganong karami rin yung lumalabas. Okay? So, ang nangyayari yung mga mga product or item na binili mo is, ang tendency is maluma ka agad siya or dahil hindi na yan yung in meron ng mas latest, mas updated or mas maganda nag-stop production sila for those uh, kind of, or for those past uh, product that they have right? so, especially sa sub-ohm tank, kasi kapag huminto ang production ng sub-ohm tank automatically, pati ang replacement coil is damay, it's also affected right? so what will happen to your subum tank if the subum coil is not available anymore? Nothing. It instead, uh, the on, or the only thing you can do for your subum tank is to put it as a display or just throw it. Okay. But some people, what they do is uh, they they. They use their coil or their, for example, this, the sub -ohm coil. They let it sit for uh, 8 to 10 minutes in a boiling water to clean it. So usually kasi pag sub -ohm coil, pag nasunog na, nagkakaroon na talaga ng burnt flavor eh, or burnt taste every time na ihihit mo siya. So yung iba, ginagawa para matanggal yung, um, yung burnt taste. Uh, they let it boil for uh, 10 minutes, I believe. Okay. And then, they let it dry overnight. 
So that's what they do. Okay. So you can also you can do that actually. But I haven't tried that. But what I did instead of uh instead of uh boiling it, I put a build on it. <laughs> that's what I did. So uh for example here sparkle uh i do believe na this item or this sogom tank is not available anymore or i'm not sure if it's not available but i think yung coil nito wala na wala nang gumagawa because i checked online uh, i found nothing i went to a vape shop and i found nothing Okay, so probably wala nang silbi yung sabong uh, tank ko. But, syempre, gamit-gamit yung utak natin, ginagamit natin yung utak natin, I put a build. Okay, so with this, you can do a vertical build or yung the natural build na ginagawa natin sa mga RDA. Yes, you can do that. Okay, as long as may butas siya. Okay, like this, may mga butas siya. Okay. So, I know you guys are thinking, eh, apat ang butas niya, paano ka magpapasok ng build? Of course, you need to block some of those holes para, kasi, you actually need to block those holes din kasi mag-overflow yung juice sa loob ng, ng, ng coil. So, ang mangyayari, puro spit back or parang ang dating is iniinom mo na yung e-juice. And you don't want that. Right? So, you actually have to block it. I'll show it to you um, in a close-up. Okay. Just, pero yun. Ito, solution lang to para sa mga nagahanap ng pang-replace sa sabong coil nila or sa sabong tank nila. Pero yung sabong coil na yun is not available anymore. Okay. So, this is what I suggest. If you want, you can boil it. Okay, but the problem is the coil. Kung ganun pa rin kalinis. Okay, pero yun, yun yung pwede mong gawin. Buildan mo siya ng bago. And you can do that. Uh, I will show that to you. So, without further ado, let's dive down and let's check it. So, here we go. So, as you can see, this is Sparkle. Ito yung replacement coil niya, sabong coil I don't know if you can see that yeah. as you can see sunog na siya, di ba? so like I've said other people, what they do is uh, they boil this thing for 10 minutes okay uh, I mean, they let this uh, coil sit in a boiling water for 10 minutes and then they let it dry for uh, 15 or I mean overnight okay so there so I'm not promoting Michael course okay so wala lang talaga akong ibang table yeah so as you can see let me get this one so this one it has it says here 50 to 100 watt right but i only used 45 watt and hit it i only hit it for 45 watt and then what happened nasunog siya now uh so what i did i only used 30 watt i fired on 30 watt and yeah pero yun nga nagkaka burn taste na siya so I have to do something so this one was also burned now this one is 20 to 50 watt okay 30 to 50 watt now the problem with this kind of with I'm not sure if every sabong tank but I think with sparkle lang let me be specific sparkle okay with this uh, sabong coil Uh, it has spit back protection so nakas there was a coil or there was a cotton 
in that channel see it's a divider see that okay there was a there was a cotton there okay so yung juice niya hindi pumapasok dun sa coil niya so ang nangyayari nasusunog or dry pa rin siya ang tagal niya bago masaturate yung yung coil so nangyayari nasusunog din siya so sa sobrang sikip ng cotton hindi ka agad pumapasok yung juice sa coil yun yung problem niya ngayon uh, kaya nagkaroon siya ng burn flavor na rin so yan nga so ginawa ko nag build ako okay so I think this is like 8 or 9 wraps using this okay using this 8 or 9 and then I used uh, a guide okay so pinasok ko to pinasok ko to dito sa hole sa hole na to para i-guide yung yung coil ko para pag pinasok ko yung cotton mailalabas ko siya dito nang ganong kabilis okay i just use it as a guide and then nung na line up ko na siya so tsaka ko siya nilak dito sa bottom so ito yung itsura niya so it's like this is your positive and this is your negative so okay lang yung coil mo yung buong coil mo itong negative dumikit dito sa buong uh, base na to as long as ito naman didikit siya dito kasi ito yung magta-touch dun sa positive mo dun sa mod okay so pag ni-remove ko to Actually, hindi naman siya magta-touch. Hindi rin naman siya sasabog. Kasi, variable naman yung gamit ko. So, there. Ipinasok ko lang siya. Tapos, itong isa. Ipinasok ko lang yung positive dito sa rubber. Yung isa, dito sa labas. At nilina po yung notches. See? Just like that. See? You can see that. Can you see that? Yes, you can. Then this one. Sa loob siya. And then sa loob, ulit siya nito. Ganyan lang ginawa ko. Sobrang ganyan lang. There. So, nagtatouch na yung positive niya dito sa metal na to. Which is, this is yung positive. And okay lang ito yung negative mo mag-touch dito sa base okay ito yung negative mo okay lang mag-touch sa base basta yung positive mo dito mag-touch hindi sya sasabog pag gamit mo variable kasi mag-auto uh, short sya automizer short so it is very safe using in a var uh, uh, testing it in uh, uh, in your variable mode okay And also, all of the sub -ohm tanks, not just one, one or two holes, okay? So, for example, this one, it has four holes, okay? So, para masaturate ng hosto yung cotton, yung stock cotton dito, tsaka yung coil, okay? So, I had a problem when I was, uh, the first time I put the build on it because of those holes. Because no matter how I try to put a wick on these two extra holes, uh, na flooded siya. Flooded siya. So, ang nangyayari, lumalabas yung e-juice dito. Lumalabas yung liquid. <laughs> so, para akong, para akong mihigop na ng, parang iniinom ko na juice. Yeah it's really like I'm drinking the e-juice literally okay so there see so that's what I did okay ganyan lang yung ginawa ko so ang ginawa ko is tinakpan ko siya ng foil 
para hindi siya humigop ng sobrang e-juice. So, the one that will suck up the juice to heat that coil is only this two cotton na nakalabas. So, bakit ko nilinyo nga pala to? Ginamit lang ko ng guide. Para mabilis ipasok yung cotton na. Pag, dapat kasi nakaline up itong coil sa hole na nandito. That's what I did. Now, it's firing. See? So, good. Right? So, that's what I did. Basically, yun lang talaga. Now, uh, I'm using this uh, sobom coil again. Okay? So, it, it it's not a sobom coil anymore. Okay? Or not a sobom tank anymore. It's now um, an RDA. <laughs> See? Now, let's go back. So, there you have it. Uh, again, this is for sobom tank users na hindi na makahanap ng sobom coil replacement for their sobom tank. Okay, dahil hindi na available yung uh, yung replacement sabong coil na yon or uh, the online or going to a vape shop hindi na siya available or dahil simply because it stopped production na sila. Okay, they they stop doing stuff for that specific uh, sabong tank. Okay, so uh, before you try this or if you're going to try this, don't use a, a hybrid mech or don't use a mech mod, okay? Use a variable, okay? It is safer if you use a, uh, it is really safe if you use a, a variable, okay? Plus, kasi kailangan mo siyang i-test fire to see, just like what you're doing in uh, ordinary RDTA or RDA, diba? Uh, Fina-fire natin siya to see if pantay yung, yung, yung yung coil niya or yung let's say yung baga niya okay so ganun din siya kailangan mo i-check kung nagbabaga ba nagpo-fire siya ng maayos maganda yung fire niya okay kung naggo-glow ba siya evenly okay so you have to do that as well in when you do this kasi pag di mo ginawa yun mamaya yung baba ang nag uh, ano, so lagi siyang magsha short short automizer so we don't want that so of course you don't want you don't want short automizer in your mech mod okay so you have to use a variable if you do that okay so at pwede mong gawin yung horizontal or vertical just like the usual uh, coiling of other uh, of uh, sabong pataas siya okay Gonna just make sure uh, do the exact same way I did with the positive and negative. Okay? Make sure you do that. Okay? Kasi hindi pwedeng um, hindi pwedeng parehas silang nandun sa negative. Laging short yun. Okay? Kaya, again, wag mong ita never try to do that um, build in a sobong tank using uh, mech mod, okay, or a hybrid mod, please don't, okay, this is only for variable, lalo na kung itetest para mo siya, okay, and then, uh, so mga ibang tao, if you find this video na parang, if you think na, uh, what I did is for those people who can't afford to buy a new automizer, bullshit, okay, Again, it's not that you can't buy an atomizer. It's just that, diba, if you want to use it because you're enjoying the performance of it, and then suddenly you can't. Of course, it's going to be a different performance if you put a build on it. Okay, But if you want to copy what the, 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 what the coiling or how did they coil the, the sub-ohm uh, coil that you have. Like, for example, usually they have five wraps. Okay, and ganun, para siyang spring, five wraps or loops, and then vertical, you can do the same thing, okay? Because you like that per performance, you like the flavor of it, yeah, the performance. 
you can do that okay it's not because you can't afford to buy it an, a new automizer it's just that if you want to use your automizer again okay kasi sayo naman okay vaping is to help those people uh, especially smokers na mag quit sa smoking okay mag quit sa cigarette that's why rather than buying a new subone tank okay or atomizer but you're enjoying using subone tank or a tank put a build on it that's fine okay hindi naman ibang tao bibili ng juice mo eh. ikaw so this is just to help you guys okay I'm not saying all of you you have to do this no okay it's up to you if you want to do it well if you don't want to do it you want to troll or display your sobong tank go ahead be my guest it doesn't matter to me i don't care okay so it's not gonna be a sobong tank anymore but it, instead it's gonna be an rta well at least you don't have to uh throw your sobong tank but if you don't want to do like what i did then don't okay again okay display it or throw it it's none of my business okay so if you guys find this video helpful please uh hit the like button and if not then there's nothing i can do okay so vapors don't vape where you can't smoke uh know the alms law especially for beginners uh be a responsible uh vapors always respect and uh vape on